You are almost at the server room, Raiden. Good luck. Guess I've exhausted all the uh, conversation options here. Guess all the staff's already gotten out. Probably. There's an evacuation notice for the entire neighborhood, in case you hadn't noticed. Can't exactly have civvies running about with cyborgs blowing the place up all around. I'm not complaining. This way I won't have to hold back. Too bad the cyborgs didn't go with them. I'm not even here to fight them. Yeah, but if you're expecting to find the guys behind all this, you're probably too late. I know. I'm just here to get the brains back. Anyone who ran this operation, worked on it, stood by and let it happen, I'll deal with them later. Smart plan. Wouldn't be much of a warrior if you started hacking up helpless non-cyborgs anyway. I'd Those do guys, it. We'll get them another way. Yeah, we'll put them in jail. Well, I mean, just getting the brains on our side could change a lot. World Marshal's got an iron grip on the government. Wall Street, too. Legal action's not gonna work. But you can bet the media's gonna descend on Denver like flies once you're done here. Once you've rescued those brains, they can start talking about VR training. If nothing else, it'll definitely change public opinion. And quickly. World Marshal's stock will plunge, giving them less influence in Washington. We could see a managerial change. And, you know, the guy running the project would probably be demoted. Reassigned oh, no, least. not a demotion. Demoted for cutting up kids? That's punishment? It's got to be Armstrong running all this. A guy who publicly has nothing to do with World Marshal. I... Yeah. Anyway, he'll have to wait. The way Monsoon was talking, Sam and Sundowner are in here somewhere. Taking them out's a start. At least. How's it going with the brain unit, Doc? Back Any to crybaby mode. Oh, they could not be better. They're being kept at exactly 36 degrees Celsius with a steady, uninterrupted supply of oxygen and glucose. Synchronizing them with our equipment posed some difficulty, but everything's perfectly stable now. That's good to hear. What kind of VR are they getting? I prepared very comfortable rooms for each and every one. It's not quite Schloss Neuschwanstein, but each one enjoys the equivalent of a four-star hotel suite. Every room includes an attached pool and an extensive library of on-demand video programming. Three meals are delivered daily, and while we're only able to do so much vis-a-vis -vis taste sensation, it should satisfy the psychological need for food, at least. Doesn't sound too bad. I wouldn't mind a little VR training like that for a change. Yep, oh, crybaby mode. I'd like to experience it for myself, you know. But for now, it is available to cyborgs only. Exciting work is being done in the realm of invasive brain-machine interfaces. But there simply isn't much demand for it at the moment. I guess not too many folks are willing to stick electrodes in their brains just for a taste of VR. Uh, perhaps. But the sense of reality is considerably improved over nanomachine-based non-invasive methods. If prices were kept low enough, I imagine the video game industry at least would clamor for it. Who coded the virtual hotel? An assistant. He used to write VR programs for UGs, but now specializes in cyborg software. A bit of a niche right now, yes, but when brain-machine interfaces take off, it will be a big business. The children's accommodation is a reworked version of the original beta software he built. The room's 3D models are all made using free libraries. It couldn't have been easier. <laughs> I wish everyone loved their work as much as you do, Doc. They don't go stir-crazy, though? Cooped up in their rooms? There's little I can do about that. Creating an open world would take orders of magnitude more resources. What about communication? Another weak spot, yes. The NPCs available to us are all for military training purposes. It will be some time until we see VR characters capable of convincingly human interaction. Sadly, we're also not yet able to connect multiple brains to a single VR space. My assistants are operating virtual agents to give them a bare minimum of mental care. But our team is limited in size, and none of us are medical professionals, you know. They can't stay in there forever. Sounds like torture, I-M-O. That shit ain't all it's cracked up to be. I have reached the Japanese garden. Please continue on your way. Wow, way to go, Slowpoke. Jeez. Ever eaten Cambodian, Courtney? Wh what? That's a little random. Apparently, that's where Monsoon's from, originally. Just trying to cover all the bases. Not sure how this could be important, but... 
Well, the two Cambodian dishes I know best are amok and something called pong ti con. Amok is fish covered in coconut milk and other flavorings and wrapped in banana leaves. I had it once. It's really exotic, both in looks and taste. Definitely recommended. If you like fish. And the other? Pong ti con? It's also known as balut in some countries. It's pretty popular in Vietnam and the Philippines, too. I... Well, you know how I try to keep an open mind about other countries' cuisine. But balut is definitely a love-hate thing. So, what is it? Well, it's basically a boiled duck's egg. But the embryo's fertilized, so there's this duck-like thing inside. I've tried a lot of odd foods in my time, but that's where I drew the line. Go for some chicken's Don't be blood. So picky, Courtney. Maybe it tastes better than it looks. Okay. How about you try it first? Cyborg, then? don't need it. Sure. Once I'm done here, we'll all have to go out for it together. Deal. You better make it back and keep that promise, Raiden. I'll watch you eat it, at least. <laughs> Wimp. I am looking forward to ending this, though. Wouldn't mind getting my old jaw back. Would be a little hard to eat normal food without it, you know. <laughs> you could always use a straw. That doesn't sound very cyborgish. No one wants to talk about my prisoner here? I mean, isn't this like torture? Ah, oh, he died in one hit. Good lord. He was weak, boy. He was weak. That's a man in a sombrero. Very embarrassing. Alright, anything else? Yep, treasure chest. Always a welcome addition. Give me some of that good stuff. And on we go. One step closer to eating duck egg. Rooms ahead? Yes, according to what I have here. What should I expect to find? If they're VR training those brains, I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. Feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored, you know. They would also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure, it's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank and file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner's waiting, right? If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him. Yeah, I guess chopping up two of his lieutenants wasn't good enough. Maybe I'll have to go for three. Why not? That's okay. I think I've got it in me. Just as long as I don't keep going through these goddamn personality changes. Why did Yugi grow two feet and go through puberty? I just, I, I, I there's something quite different about him. Just a little bit, though. I think it's a small change. Hey, Yugi, did you die one of your brains? Or, er, brains. <laughs> uh, bangs. Oh, old friends return, you say? What? Miss Troll? She's... No. A spare body, if I had to get Lightly controlled by an AI. Yeah, it looks like AI Mistral isn't very smart. Come on, get that big bad boy off your back. And she's running away, of course. Chick is shit, AI! You ain't got shit! So those were spare bodies, Doc? Indeed. Sometimes backups are built for custom-made frames like Mistral and the others. They can be used for spare parts in case of damage, or if the original body is completely destroyed. The brain can be transplanted over for a quick recovery. But these are all AI-controlled. Yes. Most likely a standard UG AI. It may look like Mistral, but it would behave more like a UG. The same attack patterns, perhaps, but the AI will not perform up to the organic original in many respects. Such things as speed, agility, accuracy, 
how it responds to damage. These differences are usually quite obvious once the AI engages in combat. So I've got nothing to worry about. Well, bear in mind that the spears retain all the original body's abilities. I would still exercise caution if I were you. If they already went through all this trouble, why not just mass produce Miss Troll's body? Cost? Yes, I would imagine money to be the biggest obstacle. Mass production would certainly lower costs, but likely not enough to be competitive with general use cyborgs. Plus, any user would need extensive training to make use of all those arms, you know? Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe I should, maybe I should see if they have another one. Bring one of those back for Kevin. He seemed to really be into that sort of thing. Sounds like Monsoon was a victim of the Khmer Rouge. Yeah, Pol Pot's regime. They killed nearly the entire intellectual class of Cambodia, all in an attempt to create a communist agrarian society. Some reports claim they wiped out a third of the entire population. Just insane. Even without knowing exactly what happened to him there, you can start to see why he thinks the world is diseased. Yeah, I'm sure that's what gave him his whole survival of the fittest worldview. Just one long series of traumatic events. Well, directly or otherwise, the Khmer Rouge messed up a whole lot of lives. But all their victims didn't start thinking like Monsoon. People have to stop the cycle of violence somewhere. Stop the bad meme, I guess you could say. Of course, that's easy for me to say, having grown up in a nice, stable first world country. Nah, I get it. Growing up in bad circumstances, it's no excuse for the crimes you commit. Yeah. How many laws are you breaking again right now, Raiden? Come on now. Get with the goddamn program, breaking the law is fun. Breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law. The time she came down, jeez. You cannot take what I'm dishing out, AI Mistral. Yeah, I don't even think there's a point to launching him anymore. Wow, that's not very nice. Hey, I miss Jules a jerk, too. Come on, we gonna do this again? Yep, she's blowing herself up up there, I think. Oh, wait, nope, she's coming down. No! Oh, oh, I actually got it. Holy crap. No, you are not going anywhere. Yeah, I don't know why I keep trying to go up after her. Yeah, I think the last... Yeah, I really... That pole arm is good for AoE stuff, I guess. Oh, well, that's okay with me. I do love my AoE damage. It's okay, I can spam these attacks. This is easier to recover, too. No, no, no! No blown stuff up, goddammit! Dead yet? Come on, 0.3%? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> she jumped, jumped down and turned her back to me. What a genius. Who else wants some of the good stuff? I've got plenty of it. Come on, come on, bring it on. I know. Oh, <laughs> I was ready for it that time. Usually, that's pretty hard to uh to dodge. I kicked the real ass, or yeah, the real ass, of the real monsoon. So this should be pretty easy, I think. No, you get, uh, damn it, camera angle, stop doing the ouch. Wasn't ready for the smoke grenade, and then who my... Monsoon's still pretty fucking tough. You gotta give credit where credit is due, right? I'm getting backed into a corner, that's not good. I can't, I can't look at the camera! Where is he? Oh, God, he... And that didn't do anything, okay. Okay, I got something that works. EMP grenades. 
There we go. That's what I need. The camera angle! What the I can't block if you're constantly moving the fucking camera. Game G. Trying to block and it's not working. No! No, his foot is. Blah, blah, damn it. There we go. That'll work. Guess you lose the uh, the Lawrence Force thing if you get hit. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty hard to do. Stop switching the camera on me, game! I don't need your help! Jeez. That was rough. Oh. Oh, S rank. Must have been the 218 hit combo. Thanks, Mr. Off, for being such a scrub. Don't disrupt the students while class is in session. Uh, <laughs> I hope those walls are insulated. Lesson plan? The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually, though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They do kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> They enjoy it, though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time. <laughs> Plus, they get a shiny new body as a graduation present. Pedophile. Hey, Another where's your sombrero? Have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulate it to perform in all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't see the bigger picture, do ya? Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Smush it! Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. And we've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> 